Hey guys, Kanani here with Little Honey Bee Homeschooling. So today I am joining in another holiday collab. This is the Thanksgiving read along collab. It's brought to you by the YouTube creator um, collaborator group on Facebook. Definitely check them out. I believe it's Ingrid who is hosting this. Again, she's from Mommy and Mia Chronicles. I will have her link in the description along with the playlist too. So you can check out everybody else who's joining in. ours is thanksgiving but if you follow me then you've seen in my last video we actually took a little step further and we're doing a native american study to go along um with our thanksgiving holiday and since it is the week of thanksgiving i probably won't post a video till after this as far as like me sitting down i think i have like one other one coming up that i've already pre-recorded for a kid's craft during thanksgiving but this week all we are doing is reading reading out loud and then um doing you know native american crafts go along i will share the two that we did yesterday which was monday and then today tuesday and then for the all the rest you can definitely follow me on instagram that link will be in the description and you can see the crafts we do out through the day i also have a facebook page um i will do share on there and any extra things that we do i as well share on there more than I probably share on YouTube just because it's really hard for me to do day in the life videos very often. Okay, so let's get started. So for Thanksgiving, the books that we have going on, because I have a few, I actually have a few Thanksgiving books. Um, you probably saw a look at them on my last video when I just showed you um, just a look, but I didn't explain any of them or what, I didn't go through them. I don't believe I did. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, we have the Harvest one. I know I mentioned this one because we use the vocabularies out of here. But I really did enjoy this book. Um, we have been using it. It does have short stories, but they're more of factual um, short stories. The Harvest Festival long ago, Harvest Home. You will have different um, harvest facts. So this is a great little thing. I think they even had like little snack ideas that you could do, pop pop, and different little um, things you can do and what it all symbolized during um, the harvest time, Thanksgiving time. So we like this one. This is a holiday book, Thanksgiving book. This one we did use throughout the week last week. Um, what I was doing with this one is this is my son's. I use this one as my son's read, a, read out loud. Well, not read out loud because it's reading time. During, after we finish our schooling, I usually have them read. And I read out loud to the children, but he does go through and read his. These were little short stories. He only read five, but during the week, I'm actually reading one each of the little stories or two each, I think, of the story. And we're reading it during our craft time or during just like, you know, it's downtime. I just read one of those because they're really short stories. This one here is Thank You, Sarah, which I have not read, but I did see it on somebody's um, channel. I believe it was Sodbuster Living. If it was you, then awesome. Um, I picked it up. If not, then I'm sorry. And if you're watching me, then definitely let me know it was you who shared it. I'd be glad to give you credit. So they said this was a really good book. So we're definitely going to, that's going to be something we're reading throughout the week. The other one is How Many Days to America, A Thanksgiving Story. Again, this was something we had never read, but I did pick up because of Thanksgiving Story. We actually read this one last night as our bedtime story. It's a great little book. There is no, um, it just talks about a family who is coming to America and how it took them to get here. It's a very short story. Um, but again, it talks about the struggle of leaving for America and then they actually get there. On the day that they actually arrive to America, there's people waiting telling them, the welcome to America and they they said today's a great, a great day for you to be here it's a special day and we celebrate and they're like yeah it's coming to America day you know the children of the story and they actually said well today's Thanksgiving and they explain they tell them that Thanksgiving was a day when people who didn't like where they lived or um, moved to America to start new life which is what they did okay so oh and so just recap my last video um, cranberry Thanksgiving is what we wrote so 
definitely more details on that one check out the video i will try to have it linked up on top if you want to just go straight to that you can but going on with our native american study what we are doing um this was monday this is the legend of the indian paintbrush of course we had to pull up this classic i will have like i said the little craft that we did with called the Indian boy another great little story and this one as well as a cute little story um, again we had never read this one it's had the painting graphics on it and where that's what we had on there so we did some um, another crafts you can check it out right now. tents on there and it made a cute decoration on my table so i love that and we did it before thanksgiving so i'm excited so when my they come over my family they'll actually be able to see our crafts i picked up a couple of these are not story stories they're more research or factuals or you know we want to do learn more about native americans these are the books we went to this is indians again i have not looked through any of these these ones we are going through roughly and just reading every little bits of them just a few chap a few chapters a few pages of them because i'm trying to stick with the stories just to make it fun during the holiday week for homeschooling um uh for our homeschool what we do is we don't do our basics which is our math um math and reading which reading oh careful son oh, sorry. reading is um definitely one of our yeah. basics um but since we're already doing that <laughs> thank you son so yeah. basics yes so again i did pick up a couple of these again these are more research books oh careful son careful careful okay so we have that one there we yeah, have we the navajos have we do have that one good job we have navajos we have the Sioux. And then we have, we picked up this one, the famous Native North Americans, which I haven't got to see that one yet. But I did read on the back yeah. here, and it did have some other suggestions of this book. Um, I'm hoping that focuses there for you. Okay. So that is what we are reading. Oh, and the last one, if you lived with the Hopi. So what you could expect if you live with them. Yeah, you could. <laughs> so that is what you will be seeing in our homeschool this week. That is what we are doing. We're keeping it really simple, just crafts, a lot of hands-on stuff, um, little, a lot of reading. So again, follow me on Instagram to stay up with the crafts if you want to have an idea. I try. We do our crafts early in the morning so that way the rest of the day is free. And then that way if you catch it, then you can do it before the day is over. Rollins. Buddy. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I've been wanting to share this because. Hmm? Yes, give me a second though, okay? I'll let you do your segment in a minute, okay? Um, what I've been doing with, or what I do with a lot of my, even with my five in a row. Give me a second. With my five in a row books is I like to team up movies. I definitely, um, I'm more of an Amazon Prime person, but if Netflix has something, I will use Netflix. My hit Rollins, careful. Um. So I'm going to show you the movies. I'm going to show you a, a few of the movies that we have been watching this November in reference to Thanksgiving. enjoy them i do try to keep them pg pg 13 my children are depending on what movie it is i kind of do let them watch a lot of stuff um that's a little bit older in age just because i am actually sitting here watching the movie with them again feel free you know your children you know what your children can handle and what they can't handle so definitely um check them out before if you want to see them and like i said they're mostly are pg pg 13 
But that's going to be it, guys. Happy holidays. I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving. We are going to enjoy ours, and we will see you next time.